Welcome to Travel Tracker Routing. Today we are going to be talking about the Parent Portal. This provides capability for parents to log into a portal to update contact information, view current student bus schedules, and request transportation or transportation changes. Now the Parent Portal must be activated. To activate it, we are going to go to our profile and we are going to select the Settings menu. So from here in this top menu, we're going to go to the parent portal menu option. And when you initially choose this on your travel tracker routing site, it will be disabled. We do that during the implementation process. So to enable it, you'll simply click this checkbox and then you'll want to make sure that you save that change. And there are several setup options for this. So by default, parents can update or add additional address and phone number contact information. If you have a parent portal through your student information system and want all updates to come through that SIS, you can disable the ability for parents to edit address and contact information. You can also restrict the parent to only editing the primary address. The hide weekdays indicates if you do not want to allow the parent to select individual days of the week when requesting transportation changes. If you want to hide the student bus schedules, you know, which bus the student is routed on and the stop information in the portal, use the checkbox and indicate the message that will appear to the parents if they click on the bus schedules section. You will also want to customize the email that goes out to the parent when you send the parent registration link. And then you will click save to save your changes. Now let's say you want to send parent registration links to all new kindergartners for the year as school starts. Let's go ahead and filter on the grade and school. In this instance, we're going to filter it to just Sunshine Elementary School students. Now we are going to go to this operations tab. And from here, we can send parent register links. When we do that, this send parent register links window is going to pop up and we can see the names of all of the students that we have filtered down to, all 25 of them. Parents will receive a registration link in his or her email. And so now we'll show you what the parent portal looks like. So the parent portal makes it easy for a parent to update contacts, addresses, and bus requests. For example, a parent can click on update and update phone numbers, indicate if they would like to receive text notifications. So you can click on a student's picture to open up the student that they want to work with. Parents can add or adjust transportation needs. So let's say that this child does not need transportation. The parent is going to transport them. We can do that and then hit submit and that will push that request through to the routing software. Now, once the parent enters the request for new transportation or change requests, it is easy to see and manage these requests. So we will just go to the profile and click on new slash change requests. So we can see here in this first entry that this was requested by the parent for Amin Baker and that they have requested to remove transportation for this student. And you can click on view to actually view this request. And that is everything about the parent portal. It makes it super easy to keep in touch with your parents and have your parents keep in touch with you about student transportation.